Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would just like to share with you the ink sampler book that I started making a few months ago. It is not completely finished yet because it takes time and focus to finish everything, but I want to share with you the process and where I'm at at the moment with this little hobby project and hopefully you will get some ideas that you can use. I used Adobe InDesign to design the actual pages for the ink sampler book. I do love the grid that I am using for my own planner pages. I find them very useful and I have an entire playlist about my planner pages which I will link down below. So I also placed a grid in the pages for the ink sampler book because I'm going to be writing sentences on them and I need the grid for that. However, in the area for the cotton swab and the one drop, I did not place a grid. So for each page, I placed the space where I can write the brand name of the ink, the ink series and color, and the paper that I am to be using. I also placed two items with check boxes so I can mark whether I have a bottle of that ink or just a vial. And then I also allotted three large boxes for writing samples and observations using at least three different pens and nibs like the one extra fine and one double broad and one dip pen or maybe one glass pen and one medium fountain pen and one stub or something like that together with a brand of the pen to have sort of like a comparison and contrast writing sample. I don't have all sorts of nibs to show variety in this ink sampler book. That's why this project is still a work in progress. These pages are 95 millimeters by 171 millimeters, the same as the Filofax personal sized paper. I do like that size very much. It's so convenient for me and I like having one size paper for one category of tasks. Like for organizing purposes, I like this paper size. And for graduate student matters, I like using the A4 size. And well, that's all the paper size that I use, just A4 and personal. And another reason why I choose personal size paper for this ink sampler book is that I want this to be loose leaf so I can rearrange the pages whenever I want to like maybe I can group all the reds together and so on and so forth or maybe I want to group them into um, by brand or by series. It really depends. I'm not yet sure how the pages are going to be arranged but I like that this is going to be loose leaf so I can be free to decide and change my mind as often as I want. That is also why there is a rather wide margin on the left of each page. That's where the holes are going to go. I also designed a nice little cover for this, just a basic graphic. I decided to take apart a Midori MD A5 notebook to use the pages of it for this ink sampler. This is the same notebook that I am using as a journal and I have a review of this notebook on my channel which I will link down below. I really like the paper of this notebook. It is just the right thickness and it can take a lot of very wet media without any problem and without any bleed through. So I decided that this would be the perfect paper for my ink sampler book. Now this is not white paper. This is a very light cream paper. I think this is actually off-white but I only use um, white paper A4 sized for school purposes in which case I don't really use too many ink colors for that but in my experience of many years writing on both white paper and off-white paper or cream paper there is very little or almost no variance in how the ink colors look whether we use white paper or off-white paper. And then I printed out my layout on the paper using a laser printer which is perfect for this because laser printing is completely waterproof. I have been using laser toners for all of my planner pages since 2013 because I use a lot of colored fine liners and watercolor brushes on my planner pages and laser printing really stands up very well to all that wet media. I printed the layout with crop marks so I would know exactly where to cut and not have to remeasure or second guess everything. I printed out the pages only on one side of the paper because like I said earlier I want to be able to arrange the pages as often as I want to and then after the printing I cut the paper stacked down to personal sized and then gathered all of my inks around me. 
I tried using this glass pen from Roarer and Klinger that I purchased months and months ago from Everything Calligraphy. I have a video of this which I will link down below but I haven't really gotten the hang of it. I haven't really practiced. I did have an unbranded glass pen before and I purchased it secondhand many many years ago from the old fountain pen network forum before Facebook was born. I think it was 2006 and I don't think I ever wrote with that pen. But this is the glass pen that I have now and I do not really trust myself so much with it. I feel like any moment I was going to come up with a big ugly blob of ink on these beautiful pages but I did use it as best as I could because these pages are loose leaf anyway so if I make a mess I won't ruin the entire stack. What I can appreciate about the glass pen is that it's the perfect pen for swatching a bunch of inks in one sitting. There is absolutely no need to run to the sink and flush and rinse every single time. I just swish it in a glass of water wipe it off with tissue and then move on to the next ink and then swish, wipe and repeat. It's very convenient and it's not wasteful of water. So using the glass pen, I filled in some information on the pages like the brand, the series or color, the paper used, which is of course the Midori MD paper, the date when I made the swatch, which is December last year, and then shaded in the box that pertains to either a bottle or a vial or both. And then I wrote my observations about the ink on the first box using the glass pen. However, some of the pages had samples written by other pens that I was reviewing for the 12 pens of Christmas from Everything Calligraphy. I took that as an opportunity to add to the variety of pens and nibs that I can sample my inks with, like this swatch for Lamy Petrol which I wrote with the Sailor 1911 Black Luster with a fine nib. I will link the playlist for this review series in the description box. And then I went ahead and did the cotton swab part for the pages. I have a full container of cotton swabs that I got specially for this project and I practiced a little bit on that scrap paper I was practicing on earlier with a glass pen. And then I did the swabbing of all the inks one by one. I think this is the most fun part of the project so far. I really enjoyed the swabbing and I suspect that it might be fun for you guys to watch me do this. So I'm going to put on some music while you watch. At some point of the swabbing, you will see me using a pencil instead of the glass pen, but that's only because I didn't really have all the time to wait for the writing of the glass pen to dry completely before moving on to the next step. So I just used a pencil to write down the brand name, the ink color, and the ink series, and the date um, so that I can continue with the swabbing. And this is where I'm at with this little hobby project. I did all of these and filmed all of these in December 2017 and I have not done anything beyond this. I have not even punched holes on the pages yet. Right now these pages are inside an envelope and I have been sick for a while and I am on the road to recovery and maybe I can pick up work on this project when I am completely well and have the time because I really want to finish this. I think it will be very useful for me and I really want to make it pretty and I really want to enjoy the process and share it with you guys.
The next step here would be the one drop of ink and that's the box that's right below the box for the swab. So I am looking for an eyedropper that I can use for this but I'm not in a hurry. I will be posting an update video about this as soon as I get around to getting more work done on this project. And that is my video for you today. I hope you were able to get some ideas for your own ink swatch book and I certainly hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments and we will talk there. Thanks for watching. Bye!